Hello, my name is Cassandra Dembski and I'm the director of the Studio School at the Visual Arts Center of New Jersey. Today I want to show you how to make a fun art project at home that uses supplies you already have around your house. So the project that we are going to make today is an abstract drawing and it is based on the work of artist Frank Stella. If you want, after you've made the project, you can ask an adult to look up Frank Stella with you on the internet and you can see some examples of his work. A lot of his drawings have to do with lines and shapes and that's what we are going to work on today. So I have a sample of the project we are going to make. It will look something like this when you are done, but yours can be super creative and have all different colors and different um, patterns if you want in your finished drawing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up my art supplies. The supplies that we need for today's project are a blank piece of printer paper, a pencil, a ruler, a glue stick or tape, and construction paper, a pair of scissors, and assorted markers. If you don't have markers, you could always use crayons, or you could even use colored pencils or watercolor paints. This project is very easy to make work with what you have available. Um, you will also need a few circle-shaped objects from around your home. We'll be tracing those today. So I have items like a cup, a roll of tape, a lid for a food container. So you want a few different circle-shaped items of different sizes. Okay, let's get started. So here's the sample of the project that we are going to make together. Um, you can see that it is a composition of four small drawings that are all put together onto a construction paper background. So for the project, we are going to start with a piece of blank paper. So here's my blank paper. I want to start by making this paper into a square. It doesn't matter what size square as long as the paper is even on both sides. So I'm going to start with a ruler and I'm going to see that the width of my paper is nine inches. So I'm going to measure nine inches out from the edge of the paper. And with my pencil, I'm going to mark that spot on the paper going to go across and mark the spot again. And with the ruler, I will now connect the two lines to see where I want to cut my paper. So with a pair of scissors, I'm going to cut off the extra bit of paper. Okay, so my work surface is now a nine inch square. Um, yours can be any size, but it works out easier if you start with a square. Um, so I also have this piece of extra paper, which I'm not gonna throw away. I'm going to keep this because you could always make a future art project out of this. So just put this aside with your other art materials for later. And now working with our square, um, we are going to draw a series of overlapping circles all over the paper. So to make this easier, I've gathered a few items that you might have around your house that you can actually trace. So items like a cup. The cup has a small circle on the bottom and a large circle on the top. You can trace either one of those. Um, you might have lids for um, food storage containers that are circles. You might have some plates. You could always trace the inside of a roll of tape or smaller circles, you could trace things like small bottles. Um, this one is white out, but maybe you have a nail polish bottle or something else that is a circle. And you wanna have a few different size circles um, for your drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking my cup. I'm going to put the large side of the circle down and with a pencil, I'm going to trace the outline of the circle. Then I'm just gonna move the cup around and trace a few more circles. Okay, I'm also going to turn the cup upside down so I can trace a smaller circle. And if you are really good at drawing circles, you can draw these freehand. So you wanna make sure you mix up some of the circles that you're tracing so you have different sizes. 
and you also want to have them overlap. Okay, and I want to add some small circles. So I'm going to take my small bottle and trace that. And you can also have some circles that are going off of your paper. So you trace them and you can see they hang off of the paper. Okay, and I'm going to do one more. I'm going to use this roll of tape. I'm going to trace the inside of the roll of tape. So you can cover your paper with as many circles as you want. Uh, it all depends on how long you want to spend on your project. Okay, so now I'm going to take my circle items and move them out of the way. And the next step is to take a black marker like this, and I'm going to trace all of the outlines of my circles. So if you don't have a marker, again, you could do this with crayons or with colored pencils. And you don't have to outline in black. You could outline in a different color, but I would make all of your outlines the same color. That will help you see them easier once we start adding color to your drawing. Only a few more for me to trace. Okay, I am now on the last one. Okay, so I have outlined all of my circles. So I'm now going to gather up my markers or crayons or colored pencils or whatever you would like to use. And I am going to color in my circles. Now, since my circles overlap, you want to make sure that you only color in one section of the circle. So for example, I'm coloring in here within the black outline this teal color. Okay, now I do not want to color in this section of the circle the same color. So I don't want my colors to touch across the black lines. So I'm gonna do another circle in teal. I'm gonna do this one over here in teal. And now I'm ready to switch to a second color. I'm going to try orange. Now I'm going to color in this half of the circle in orange. Okay, so now since this section is orange, we do not want this section to be orange. So just make sure your colors don't touch. Now, today I am making my drawing with all solid colored circles. However, if you're feeling creative, you could do things like polka dots or zigzags or stripes. So you can make your circles patterned, but that is up to you. Now you'll keep working until your entire drawing is colored in. I happen to have one that's already ready so I can show you the next step. Okay, so here's my drawing. Once you have all your circles colored in, we are going to cut this into quarters. The easiest way is to do this, the easiest way to do this is by folding. So we are going to fold the paper in half and get a nice crease. We are going to open it up and fold it the other way in half. And again, get a nice crease. Okay. And now with a pair of scissors, we are going to cut along the lines. Okay, so 
now we have all four pieces of your drawing. Okay. And the final step is to mount your drawing onto a piece of construction paper. So you can choose what color you want. Um, depends on how you like your colors together. So I'm liking it on this green color. Now I'm going to use a glue stick to glue the four pieces in place. And you want to leave a little bit of a border around your composition. So I'm just gonna flip this over, I'm going to add the glue stick and press it in place. Now you also want to make sure that you've moved your pieces of your drawing around so that the original lines do not line up. So for example, this piece actually came from here, but I'm not going to make the drawing just like that. I'm going to rotate my image. This will make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, we press them all into place. Okay. Now, since my piece of construction paper was pretty large compared to my white piece of paper, I'm going to trim some of the extra off of my construction paper. Okay. Now again, don't throw this piece of paper away. You could always make a future art project with this. So I'm gonna put that aside. I'm going to rotate and I'm going to trim this edge also. All right, so. There you go, here is our completed project. Well, I hope you had fun watching this video. I hope you enjoy making the project and we would love to see you at the Visual Arts Center very soon. Thanks for watching.